Welcome back to the Fire Emblem Character Classic modes. We completed Robins last time, and now it is time for the legendary face toucher to embark on a quest to touch more faces. And this one, I'm going to be using Female Corrin, and I'm going to be using the orange color scheme Female Corrin. I don't know why, I just think the orange color scheme looks pretty cool. So, let's move out for honor, for glory, for family, for birthrights, for conquest, but especially for faces. I'm sorry, I will never let go of my headcanon that Corrin is just obsessed with touching people's faces. <laughs> Dr. Mario, okay then. Well, I guess doctors like to inspect, uh, will inspect people and will sometimes perform face touching inspections. Get back down to the walk off ledge, you stupid doctor. There we go, face touched with a giant impaling spike arm. Yeah, I'm guessing we're fighting one light-looking character and one dark-looking character. Lockdown battle theme? What's this? Is this like an other M song? Nope. Yeah, that was stupid. I, I shouldn't just stand still charging char charge and charge smash attacks because it's pretty dumb, but anyway. I I've always liked this stage though. I especially like the new design that it has in this version. I like Corrin's down smash because it hits in both directions, but let's see. Also, hi there, not an Uncos in the background there. Kraid's more of a kaiju than a dragon, even though they're kind of similar. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, dragons really are kind of... I think kaiju just means like giant beast or something. Of course, the whole kaiju genre was a, a bit of a... By the time I upload this, the new Godzilla film's probably out, so this is kind of appropriate. But yeah, the whole kaiju genre is... Uh, it was. I don't know, just kind of arose from a bit of a misaimed fandom. Because the original Godzilla film was meant to be horrifying, and none of the destruction was played for spectacle at all. I still haven't seen the I really want to see the original Godzilla film. As in, like, the absolute original Godzilla film, not, like, the original one where it got silly. I remember my, my, my dad used to love the really silly Godzilla movies. Oh, you just, you ducked right up. Wow, my dash attack has a weird hitbox. Oh, and I have CPU allies. Okay, then. Oh, right. Of course. Because I don't even know what the heck's going on here. But that's why my dash attack did nothing, because you were an ally. I don't even know what the heck is going on. And thus, Fire Emblem Fates' plotline. Oh, no. Well, that didn't kill me, at least. In the words of Hades. But hey, at least I'm... Yeah, that got me, didn't it? I, I'm, I'm gonna keep that. I don't even know what the heck happened. Yeah, I still win, even though I died. I don't even know who my enemies were in that one. <laughs> okay, let's pay more attention this time. Pit and Dark Pit. Ready? Shouldn't one of them automatically be KO'd if the other one is? And now I have a different uh, face toucher on my side. This is a confusing classic mode. This is a great song though, I, lo I love the Uprising boss theme. I haven't even used any of my B moves at all. Apparently the Dragon Lunge got nerfed. Oh, I think I poked you right into the star. And nice off-screen snipe there. And nice... that might have been a face touch? Might have to go to a re... This image presented with no context. Yeah, I really need to get my intensity up, but this, this is a weird mode. This is a very weird mode. Ready? Okay, no allies this time, just a bunch of Mr. Layman watchers.
Seems like my side B pretty much instantly KOs you. Why do we have Crown here? I mean, this is a Kirby stage, but still. I guess they just ran out of Fire Emblem Fates music. They could have at least poured it in. Okay, good, I didn't go off the stage there. Nice finish. Yeah, they could have at least ported in something like, um, a Dark Fall, or... That was just the first thing that came into my head, but like, Dusk Falls, Past Lights... Any of those songs, just take them straight from the game, they're all pretty good. Okay, so... I am against the blue team, it looks like. We have to beat Robin, and I don't know where I am. There's lots of really chaotic multiplayer fights in Corrin's classic mode, which I guess fits with just, you know, how Corrin's chapter, uh, chapter 6 was it? Yeah, no, 5 was the one with the, you know, where, where the character we hardly knew died. Uh, 6 was the one with, nice, uh, Scythe instant kill there. 6 was the one with, um, you know, the, the choice. Oh, no. Oh, just barely grabbed that. I kind of want the club, not the scythe. Where am I? I'm there. I have no idea what's going on. Oh no, I don't want to get scythed. I don't want to get scythed. I just realized that you had the uh, death scythe and I'm over 100%. Well, really? Yeah. I might end up redoing this classic mode. I'm really confused. I don't even know what's going on for most of these matches. I still, yeah, I'm I'm on the red team, right? Yeah, I guess I'm on the red team. There we go. Wow, I'm. This is this is a very very strange classic mode. And now it's just on to this, and then the bosses. So, wow, this is this is weird. This is I'm. This has been a very surreal experience for me. I'm not used to having this many giant chaotic multiplayer matches in a Fire Emblem Classic mode. They're usually one-on-one -on -one or at least two-on-one fights, not just like three-on-three -three with so many Corrins and other Fire Emblem characters that it's really hard to tell who you are. If I don't end up using this take, like if I end up redoing it, I will at least keep some elements from this run because it looks pretty funny. I had a lot of really silly moments. Yeah, Corrin's uh, back air seems to push you backwards. And let's just ignore everything. I'm guessing we're gonna get double hands again because pretty much everyone gets double hands. I do wish there'd be more variety in classic. Yep, it's double hands again. Let me guess, Krom is also going to be double hands. They could have used Rathalos for Corrin at least, because, you know, that'd be a dragon fighting a dragon. Or, you know, a half dragon. I mean, what the heck Corrin even is isn't really fully explained. Which, I guess, is like a lot of things in the game Corrin is from. But anyway... Certainly doing a lot more damage to these hands than Robin was. Oh no, flailing hand, flailing hand! And black hole. Another black hole. Master hand's already almost down though. Okay, I wonder if I should focus on Master. No, the flick, the flick. At least the other hand wasn't there to deliver a follow-up attack, which is apparently the official name for doubling in Fire Emblem, which everyone's just called it doubling for so long, it's really hard to change. It's kind of like effort values. I think how, like, in Pokemon, uh, effort values are officially called base stats, but the fandom has used the term base stats for something entirely different for decades. So, they're not going to change anytime soon. Oh no, that attack. Oh, 
Okay, good block there. Oh, yep, you're gonna. Do oh no! Bad, 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 Snap out of it, please. Okay, snap out of it just in time. We should have him stunned soon. Yes. Am I actually gonna do this? Finally. Did I finally get a no continue hands fight? Yes, Corrin obviously wanted to annihilate that horrifying abomination from existence because it does not have a face. Hands, but no face. Corrin cannot allow such a being to live. Okay, so final results, pretty terrible intensity. Ugh, the problem with that, uh, I don't even know what to think there because I got a no continue hands fight. But the rest of this was an absolute chaotic mess. But, I don't know, I mean, I guess they can't all go smoothly, and I did at least get a no-continue hands fight like I wish that I would finally get someday. Oh. We have the lyrical Japanese loss in Thought all alone, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, right, I'm gonna be replacing this in post because I don't want to risk the wrath of being ink. Yeah, they are really, really stingy about copyright, and uh, especially with the Japanese version. I mean, it's not the full version. I think the one that really tripped a lot of copyright bots is the one that plays in the credits of Fire Emblem Fates, which is a shame, because that version actually has verses you don't hear anywhere else. Because the Smash Bros. version is truncated a little bit, uh, but yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that they just have to get so draconian about copyright. Of course, um... I know some bigger channels that didn't get hit with copyright for, for uploading that credits theme just fine, but of course I did. So yeah, better to be safe than sorry. Anyway, I, I don't want to, I'll depress myself if I go into that, if, uh... Anyway. Enough about that. Uh, yeah, Corrin's Classic Mode, in a word, wow, that was weird. That was really weird. That was not what I was expecting. A lot of really chaotic multiplayer matches. Yeah, this one will definitely take a bit of getting used to. Like, with that second one, was that everyone against Daisy, or was that just me? Like, was I supposed to be fighting the blue team? I didn't even know what happened there, because before I could even figure out whose team I was even on, a giant explosion happened and killed everyone, me included. And then I, I won by continuing. <laughs> that, yeah, um, it's hard not to get distracted by the lyrics here, because I have to remember they won't be present when I upload this, because I will be deleting this song and playing my own one. That, mean you won't be, that means you won't be hearing any of these sound effects either, but yeah. I'm recording this after I've recorded Ike's, Lucina's, and Robin's, so I guess I'm a little bit tired at this point, but... I mean, at least I hope you found this entertaining. This was... this was a ride, I'll say that much. It was very, very surreal. So what do we got here? What do we got for the credits picture? Oh, that's... alright. And I'll just get off here as quickly as possible just to have that song stop playing. Wait, what? Why did I get male Corrin for finishing with female Corrin? Do you just have to buy the alternate ones? Then at least I got the cheer squad from the series that Elite Beat Agents was part of. That sounds like a pretty funny game, and, and I've heard it's actually very good. So, that was not the best showing, but it was fun at least. So join me next time for the last of the Fire Emblem Classic modes. It'll be time for Chrome to finally get his chance. See you then. Wow, wow, Chrome's Classic mode was bizarre. Okay, yeah. That was, that was weird. I'm gonna need some time to calm down after all that. What even happened in that Classic mode?